Welcome to Uncle Deke's Hobby Bench. Just remember, safety is my first priority. Hey, Uncle Deke here. I want to show you something. I had a lot of trouble with this. I, uh, I got a lot of motor noise, RF noise. I tried three different motors. I tried putting all kinds of filters on it. And I got on the internet on a FX61 owner's page and they told me the obvious to use something I already had. I want to show you what the problem was. Okay? The motor noise ended up as lines in the video that made it so bad you couldn't fly. And here's what we're going to see. Okay, that's what I needed to eliminate. Come back to me. So now we're going to take you over to the workbench and I'm going to show you how I fixed it and how easy it was to fix. This is the tool right here that we use to fix this. It comes from ReadyMade RC. It's an LC power filter. Okay. And it comes just like this, already made up with the ends on it, with JST plugs on it. Well, where is the noise coming from? It's coming from the OSD. So what I did was, I'm going to undo the power source so we don't mess up anything. Come in close. Here is the OSD right here. And this is where the power comes from. It comes from the back side of the power regulator and this sends information to the OSD to tell you what your battery voltage and how many uh, amp hours you've used and so on. Uh, probably should have soldered these wires on on this side and might not have had any problem. But I put them back here and it's awful hard to go in and change it. So what I did is I unplugged this right here from the OSD. That's just the power to the OSD. And I plugged this in right here. It goes right in with no problem whatsoever to that end of the JST. Now the this end right here. Zoom in real close here. Let's take a good look at it. This end has some little ridges on it that make it fit into the other end of the JST plug that it goes into. It makes it fit in so it only goes in one way. So what I did is I came in and I shaved off those little ridges. Not much. Didn't hurt the plug any at all. Just shaved those off just a tiny bit. Got to make sure you get this the right polarity. And then now it plugs right into that, right there. So I unplugged this one, plugged it into here, red to red, black to black. Black goes on this side. We'll stick it back down. We'll put the battery back in. We'll plug it back up. Now we're going to go back over and show you what it did on the monitor. Okay, I think you'll see a marked increase in or decrease in what you saw. Nothing. That's all I had to do to get rid of that motor noise in my OSD. That's all. Real simple. Um, you could adapt that to work on just move back over here. You could adapt that to work on just about anything. It, it isn't particular to this. All of these have to have some kind of power source. And that's probably where the problem is going to be coming from. But when I fixed this one, this is the Hornet OSD. When I fixed it, and I fought that for a long time. I tried to fly it like that. And you could only fly it with the motor just barely running. Because it was way, way too noisy. So... 
Quick fix.